What's up everybody? Matt here and we're gonna have another fishing adventure today. I have some spots that are off the charts. Found these over the past few weeks and we're gonna be throwing some lures in here and then mostly I'm excited about throwing this cast net because I know we're gonna catch some big fish in this cast net. So I got a special guest with me today, my buddy Corey Hauser and we're about to throw a lure over here in this hole that we found and we're gonna see if we can pull some bass, some bluegill, maybe a coosa bass. Who knows what we might pull out of here. Maybe we can find a snakehead in this water. Oh, oh he just got a hit on the first try. It's a pretty one. Check it out. We finally got one here. That thing's super pretty. Looks like a hybrid. Check out the colors on this thing. That's a hybrid. See the bars? Yep. It's like a bluegill mixed with a green sunfish. Guys, look at this snapping turtle. There's a bass about to hit your lure right there. Mm -hmm. If y'all can get me to a thousand likes right this second, I'll jump in and get that snapping turtle. <laughs> no way. A different one? All right, guys, I'm going to try to cast net and see if we've got any bluegill or bass in this little area right here. I have been here before and the water level was higher, but it's drained out in this warm summer. And maybe the fish will be more concentrated. Hopefully it'll work in our advantage. But let me show you how to throw this cast net first. We're going to take about one foot increments. And we're going to make loops right here. All right, then you're going to grab the bell of your cast net right here and hold it up. Make sure that there's no tangles in this cast net. Lay this out, come down about to waist level, put that in the hand right there. You're going to grab about 50% of this cast net. Put that in this hand, transfer that over to that side. You're going to pull it up right here, hang this on your thumb, and then you can pull this up and you've got your cast net 50% open. Not how you do it. Perfect cast. All right, guys, we're just gonna give it a little tug here. Close the net. And we got one little fish here on that one. We got a little bluegill on that cast. We're gonna cast this whole entire body of water here and see if we can pull some bass out of here. Check it out guys, check this one out. Pretty sweet looking bluegill right there. That's some kind of sunfish probably. That's a bluegill. Bluegill?
That's a good bass bait right there. All right guys, so this is what we came here for. We caught a little baby bass here in the cast net. I mean, this thing is only like three and a half inches. Come here, come here, look at it, look at it up close. This is a large mouth bass. You see how large that mouth is? <laughs> Anyways, this thing is just a tiny baby, not even the size of my hand. Can you believe that? He had, oh my gosh, look at those teeth. But anyway, I've casted this pond out right here and I don't think we're gonna catch anything else. We're gonna put this one back and we saw some other bass down here at this other area. We're gonna run down there with the cast net and see if we can grab hold of them. We are right down here at another spot in this little creek and we visually saw some bass earlier and I'm not seeing them right now and I've actually got these sunglasses on, they're polarized. I can see right in that water. If it was sunny, it would be even better, but follow me down here. I'm gonna see if I can get a visual on these bass because if I can get a visual on them, I can put them in this net. I'm seeing some bluegill under here, but I'm not seeing the bass right now at this moment. I saw some bluegill, didn't see the bass, but I'm anxious to see if these are bluegill or sunfish and exactly what they're gonna look like. Those little sneaky guys got right out in there. All right, I got one down here on the lower end of this creek, and this is actually a red breast. You can see how its belly is all red right there. But let's put it back in and see what else we can get. We're in the tunnel. I'm gonna go check out this little hole right here. Let's see if there's some, let's see what's in it. There's some mosquito fish. Looks like he's still in the cast net. I've got my cast net hung up on a freaking rock, and there's a bass in there right now. Here we go. All right, we got him. Success. Well, guys, this, wipe him off. This is what we've come here for, is these beautiful largemouth bass. I don't know why they call them largemouth. It's pretty sweet. 
Well, that's all I have for you guys today, and I appreciate y'all for watching the video. Make sure you stay tuned, because the next episode is going to be fishing for Coosa bass in the local creeks here in Cleveland, Tennessee. So make sure you go down there, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more videos, and I will see y'all in the next adventure. Just, you